Hi everyone, in this video we'll study introduction to ICD 10 CM. So we'll study the introduction and conventions for the ICD 10 CM. Let's start. The full form of ICD 10 CM is International Classification of Diseases 10th Revision Clinical Modification. So which departments provide the guidelines for coding and reporting ICD 10 CM? The answer is the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services and National Center for Health Statistics that is CMS and NCHS are the two departments which provide the following guidelines for coding and reporting using the ICD-10 CM. So first let us start with the conventions for the ICD-10 CM. So what are the conventions? The conventions are general rules for the use of classification independent of the guidelines. The conventions are very important. This is the first step to learn ICD-10 CM. Let us study the conventions one by one. The first is alphabetic index and tabula list. So the ICD-10 CM is divided into alphabetic index and the tabula list. So, the alphabetic index contains alphabetical list of terms and their corresponding codes and the tabula list is a structured list of codes divided into chapters based on body systems and conditions. So, in your ICD manual, you can find the alphabetic index consists of index of diseases and injury. You can check in your book the index of external causes of injury and it contains the table of neoplasm and table of drugs and chemicals. Next is the format and structure. The ICD 10 CM codes are 3 to 7 character codes. So here the first character will always be an alphabet. And the first three characters are known as category codes. For example, there are many codes starting with E11, right? Such as E11.00, E11.01. So here E11 is a category code for type 2 diabetes mellitus. That is the first three characters are known as category codes. Next is placeholder character. The ICD 10 CM utilizes a placeholder character X. So the X is used as a placeholder at certain codes to allow for future expansion. Example, poisoning, adverse effect and underdosing codes categories T36 to D50 where a placeholder exists. So the X must be used in order for the code to be considered a valid code. So the main thing you have to understand is the character X is used as a placeholder for future expansion. Next is 7th characters. So certain ICD-10 CM categories have applicable 7th characters. So the 7th character is required for all codes within the category or as the notes in the tabular list instruct. The 7th character must always be 7th character in the data field. For example, in this code T24.001 there is a 7th character required. Right. Above the code they have mentioned, the appropriate 7th character is to be added to each code from the category. So, you will use the 7th character A if it is initial encounter, D if it is subsequent encounter and you will use the 7th character as S if the condition is a sequela. Okay. So, for example, if it is a initial encounter, then you will use the code T24.001, the 7th character will be A. Next is abbreviations. So, in abbreviations, we have NEC that is not elsewhere classifiable. So, this abbreviation in the alphabetic index represents other specified. That is, when a specific code is not available for a condition, the alphabetic index directs the coder to the other specified code in the tabular list. Next abbreviation is NOS that is not otherwise specified. So, this abbreviation is equivalent of unspecified. So, the NEC that is other specified codes are assigned when documentation indicates a specific diagnosis but ICD-10 CM code set does not have a specific code that describes the condition. Okay. And NOS not otherwise specified that is unspecified codes are used when neither the diagnostic statement nor the documentation provides enough information to assign a more specific code. 
Next is punctuations. So in this we have brackets. So brackets are used in tabular list to enclose synonyms, alternative words or explanatory phrases. Next is parenthesis. So parenthesis are used both in alphabetic index and tabular list to enclose supplementary words that may be present or absent in the statement of a disease or procedure. Next is the colons. So colons are used in the tabular list after an incomplete term which needs one or more of the modifiers following the colon. to make it assignable to a given category next is other and unspecified codes that is codes titled other or other specified are for use when the information in the medical record provides detail for which a specific code does not exist it means that the documentation provides detail but in the icd 10 cm we don't have a specific code for that condition so those are other codes or other specified next is unspecified So why unspecified codes are used they are used when information in the medical record is insufficient to assign a more specific code it simply means that the medical record does not provide enough information to assign a specific code so we use unspecified codes next is excludes one so what is excludes one it indicates that the code excluded should never be used at the same time as the code above the exclude one note so an exclude one is used when two conditions cannot occur together such as congenital form versus an acquired form of the same condition they cannot occur together for example check the code e11 type 2 diabetes mellitus under that you can see the note excludes one they have mentioned several conditions and their codes in that you can see diabetes mellitus due to underlying condition e08 So we'll take that as an example. It means that the diabetes mellitus due to underlying condition E08 should never be coded with E11 type 2 diabetes mellitus because the two conditions cannot occur together. I hope you're clear with it. Next is excludes two. So when an excludes two note appears under a code, it is acceptable to use both the codes and the excluded code together when both conditions exist. For example, check the code I10. that is essential primary hypertension below that you can see the excludes to note essential primary hypertension involving vessels of eye so excludes to instructs the user that hypertension involving vessels of the eye has different code than essential hypertension without further specification if the patient has both systemic hypertension and primary hypertension of the eye then it would be appropriate to assign a code for both the conditions next is code first or use additional code notes so in medical coding we have to know what is etiology and what is manifestation so what is etiology etiology is the underlying disease or cause okay and manifestation is the relevant condition which is caused by the disease so etiology codes are listed first followed by manifestation codes so the codes in brackets is always sequenced second So brackets are used in alphabetic index to identify manifestation codes, right? So always etiology is coded first, followed by manifestation codes. For example, let us take the code H42, that is for glaucoma in disease classified elsewhere. Below that you can see they have mentioned code first underlying condition, such as they have given the list of conditions. So those codes have to be listed first. Next is the word. and okay so when the term and is used in a narrative statement it represents and or the word or next is the word with so the word with or in should be interpreted to mean associated with or due to next is the code also a code also note instructs that two codes may be required to fully describe a condition but the sequencing of the two codes depends on the severity of the condition so whenever you see a code also note it instructs that two codes may be required to fully describe a condition okay next is c and c also the c instruction following a main term in the index indicates that another term should be referenced okay so it is necessary to go to the main term referenced with c note to locate the correct code so whenever you see a c instruction following a main term it indicates that another term should be referenced next is c also whenever you see a c also instruction it means that 
there is another main term that may also be referenced and that may provide additional index entries which may be useful it is not necessary to follow the see also note when the original main term provides the necessary code next are the default codes code listed next to the main term in icd alphabetic index is referred to as a default code so the default code represents condition that is most commonly associated with the main term it means that we have to assign a default code if a condition is documented in the medical record without any other information next code assignment and clinical criteria so the assignment of a diagnosis code is based on the provider's diagnostic statement that the condition exists okay so the provider statement that the patient has a particular condition is sufficient for the code assignment so that's it for today in this video we studied the conventions for the icd 10 cm in the next video we'll study general coding guidelines that is we'll see how to locate a code in the icd 10 cm so stay tuned